fearless pioneer. Yo, what's going on guys? EJ here, bringing you another Lord of the Rings Rise of War video. Today guys, we're going to be going over all of the commanders equipment the new special or unique equipment their skills and stats we're going to be doing the evil side today and then in a couple of days i'm going to release the good side so yeah we're going to get into it we're going to go from rarity upwards from mighty epic to legendary so the evil side has 33 commanders if i remember correctly so we're going to be going looking for all of them looking at their stats and everything so let's get into it shall we so yeah i'm just using the query tool um if you guys want to try and test this out there's a lot of things you can do on it i'll put the link in the description below you can check out all the things like the actual commander stats for example your commander skills but what we're here for today we're going to be checking out the um the new effects and skills for the unique equipment so we have agzog here um and we have the giant axe so this is at the level of zero enhancement but at a max level refined at level five so it gives you an idea if you got it max leveled so at a max level refined five the equipment stats you will get these are all commander stats you'll get attack four focus four defense four and commander hp of 215. now the special effect will be called mounted bound where exog with damage dealt will be plus 15 percent when battling on stone producing land tiles next guys we have is shaku so shaku has the bone totem now it's the same i'll just say this again but then i won't say it again because it will be just too repetitive so yeah all of them are going to be at enhancements level zero and refinement level five so he has some three commander stats and one unit stat so he's going to get a buff of six focus for the commander four defense and 20 command and a unit defense of plus four with the special effect called War Leader, increases Sharku's attack, focus, and speed by 6 when your army includes raiders. Next we have Yasra's Twin Daggers. So equipment stats are all going to be commander effect stats with an attack of plus 4, defense plus 4, commander speed plus 5, and commander HP plus 180. So if you want an idea, for example, like of a refinement level one you're probably going to have all those stats at about one and the commander hp is probably going to be around about half or so until you max refine it up now the special effect is going to be called war dance so in the first three rounds this formation so yasra's formation alone will have a 90 percent chance to gain follow up in the first three rounds very good but your army must be composed of only evil men Next we have is Shagrat's Rage Blade. Now it has enhancement stats of 2 for the commander and 2 for the unit. So commander defense plus 4 with commander HP of 215. And then a nice buff of unit attack of plus 4 and unit defense plus 4. Special effect will be called Seeing Red. When your army is composed of only Yurikai units, this formation's units ignore 24% of the target's defense when attacking. But their defense is also reduction or reduced by 12. Next we have is Gorbag's Glaive of the Minas Morgul. So we have two commander and two unit effects of four focus plus 30 command with a unit attack and defense of plus four. The special effect will be called War Veteran which increases the defense of this formation's orc units by four. Effect is modified by the commander's focus stat is Maltox Mask of the Beholder. So it's going to have three commander effects and one unit effect. So the commander's attack will be plus five and defense plus four with commander command of plus 20 and unit defense plus five. The special effect Master Tamer, this formation's beast units, normal attacks have a 30% chance to inflict madness on enemy units once per round. Khaldun's Fanged of the East. So it is going to have three commander effects and one unit effect of attack and defense plus four, commander HP plus 180, and unit attack plus five. The special effect outburst in the first four rounds reduces the formation unit's damage received from mounting units by 24%. So that is quite useful when versing like good formations that are using like mounted units. Next we have is Grima's Dagger. So, with 3 command effects and 1 unit effect of 4 focus, 6 speed, 20 command, and 4 unit defense, the special effect Silver Tongue, each round 1 enemy's formations 
will have a 12% chance to succumb to madness. Now, I'm not sure with these special effects if this is at level 5 as well. Um, like, for example, there's a 12% there. Whether these special effects um, are enhanced by that refinement level, which you can see the stats, I'm not 100% sure. But I'm guessing it might be, but it may not also. So I'm not 100% sure on that. The last for our tier 1 commanders, or we could call now mighty rarity commanders, we've got Ugthrak. Now Ugthrak's Crimson Axe here is got some good effects of plus 4 commander attack, focus 4, a good buff of 215 command HP, and increasing unit attack plus 4. The special effect of Pyromaniac, this commander's burn damage dealt plus 6%. After causing burn damage, and it can stack up to 10 times. Very nice. Moving on to our epic rarity commanders, we have Glasha. So, she has the Crow Staff, which has Commander Focus plus 6, Commander Speed plus 5, with a Commander's Commander plus 20, with Unit Defense plus 5. The special effect, Mysterious Ritual, Glasha's poison damage will be increased by 3% after an allied unit deals poison damage. Damage stacks up to 10 times and lasts until the entire battle or the end of combat. Kawan's Ebony Dancer has an effect of Commander Attack plus 6 with Commander Command plus 20. Also a plus 5 for Unit Attack and Defense. Now the special effect Pouring Rain against 1 enemy formations. Damage dealt reduction 6% against 1 enemy formations. Damage dealt reduction by an additional 2% for each allied dwarf, men or elf units present and it stacks up to 3 times. Lothar's Dread Circlet has some commander effects of plus 5 attack and command of 20 with a good unit attack buff of 6 with unit defense plus 5. Now the special effect of Fallen Pioneer reduces damage received by the formation's mounting units by 12%. In the first five rounds, this formation's Fallen, so if you're using mounted units, let alone Fallen, will have a 100% chance to protect one allied formation each round, and damage received is reduced by an additional 6%. So yeah, that is actually probably the best piece of commander gear that we've seen so far in the list. Uh, the Dread Circlet is looking quite nice for Lothar. Next we have is Zegrid's Dark Trinket. With a commander attack of plus 6, commander commander 20, with unit attack of 6 and unit defense of 4. Now the special effect of primal terror will be each round against one enemy formation mounted unit's 24% chance to succumb to madness. Next we have is Adune's Dread Kuras. And it's going to have effects of commander's attack of 6 with focus of 6, commander HP of 145. And unit attack plus 4. Now, the special effect of Rebel and Fear, the commander's formation gains the following effects in sequence as the Dune's stats increase. Attack reaches 50, damage dealt will be increased by 4%. If the attack reaches 100, damage dealt plus 4%, so that will be 8% in total. And if your focus reaches 50, damage received reduction of 4%, with focus reaching 100, a damage received of minus 4%. So, yeah. Some good damage, reduction, and buff there. Okay, next we have the Shadow, who's going to be a really good commander. So here's his Corrupted Horberg here, which increases all commander stats of attack of 6, focus of 5, defense of 4, and commander HP of 180. The special effect Troll Wall, at the start of each round, if allied trolls are present, the next instant of damage received 36%. Faceless Mark has a effect of commander defense of 5 with commander commander 30 buffing the unit attack and defense by 4 and 5 the special effect of parlay first round against mouth of sauron and one enemy commanders 60% chance of being stunned for 3 rounds so that's really good okay so yeah some um definite chance of trying to do some stun there very nice okay next we have asbru calls pirate flask that actually looks like the potion from Casper, if anyone's seen that movie. Okay, so we have Commander Defense of 5 with Commander Command of 20. A nice unit attack of 6 and Defense of 5. Special Effect Combustion against 1 enemy formation units. Burn damage received plus 15% of 
when your army includes Corsairs. So that's gonna he's gonna work really good with his fire amount of damage when using Corsairs. His skills do a bit of um burn damage as well. So that yeah, it's going to work really well with his skills. Okay, Grishnak. So here's Eviscerator. I do like the name of that equipment. Has a commander focus of six, commander command of twenty, unit attack and defense of plus five. The special effect of exploit increases the damage dealt by this formation's reapers by twelve percent. Random melee units in one formation, so this will work on other formations, take normal attack damage on behalf of reapers, so it's going to help protect them as well. It is ineffective if no allied melee units remain or are in those formations. Next we have is Uglax Cleaver with a command attack of plus 6 and command HP of 145, increasing the unit attack by 6 and defense by 4. The special effect of Dual Strike deals 60 to 180% additional physical damage to targets after using a normal attack. So that is quite nice actually. Um, a lot of extra physical damage is very good. Okay, we have Gothmog to Wrath here. Increasing the commander's attack by 4 and command by 30 with unit attack of 6 and unit defense by 4. Now the special effect siege tactics will increase damage dealt by the formation's orcs and troll units by 18% when battling on structured lands. Okay, next we have his Lurt, who is actually quite a very good commander in the new version. Going to increase the commander's attack by 6 and HP of 180, unit attack and defense of 5 and 4. Now the special effect of pin down, the commander's normal attacks inflict an additional 125% physical damage. So that's going to be really, really good because it's going to work really good with lots of skills which do a lot of physical damage as it is already. Last for our tier 2 or our epic rarity commanders for the evil side, we have is Kamal with the Wraith Longsword. Going to be increasing 3 commander effects of focus of 6, defense of 4, command HP of 215, and a unit attack of plus 4. The special effect of dark ways, after using normal attacks, Kamal's attack and focus increase by 4, and it stacks with each attack. Moving on to our legendary commanders, or our tier 3 as they are known, we have the brutal axe here for Oglog. Now he has 3 commanders of plus 4. 6 attack and 6 defense, and of the commander command of 20 with unit defense plus 6. The special effect of raging command increases the damage dealt by his formation of orcs or troll units by 12% when attacking. From round 8 onward, this formation orcs or troll units recover 300% HP each round when defending. So yeah, he is quite a tanky boy, so he can reach those kind of rounds. So yeah, the later um, HP recovering could be quite clutchy in a battle. Sunid's Desert Gauntlet have a commander effect of focus plus 6 and commander command of 30, increasing the unit's attack and defense by 4 and 6 points. The special effect of comprehensive tactics increases physical damage dealt by this formation's orcs, which we always know has worked really well with Sunid. Units by 12%, reduces physical damage received by this formation's evil men units by 12% if you want to use evil men. And when you want to use Ally B Suppressant, it increases poison damage dealt by this formation by 20%. Scarhelm, who is going to be a really good commander, has 3 commander effects of focus plus 6, speed of 6, and 180 HP with unit attack plus 5 with his stalker's bow. Now the special effect of Dark Ambush on the round 1 against 1 enemy deals 1500 poison damage. That is crazy. It prioritizes enemy range units, and against enemy range units, poison damage received plus 6%. This effect lasts until the end of the combat. That is absolutely crazy. I like, is that a typo? Like, you sure that's not 150% maybe? Because that may be a typo, because if that's 1500%, which I think it might be, that is absolutely crazy. Like, he does some really good focus damage. He might be one of the best... Um, evil side commanders if you've got his unique equipment wow 1500 that's yeah that's a now that's a lot of damage as they would say with the flex tape guy all right Sestaro staff of morgul has an effect of four focus defense of five command hp of 215 so we are seeing 
a big cap at the HP of about 215. The, the stats are very, very, very similar um, all over the board, to be honest. And unit defense plus 5. It's more about their effects that they have. Like, so they're going to be quite even all around with the actual effects of the equipment stats. But yeah, the actual special effects is what's going to make the difference. So the Curse Weaver effect has a commander's 40% chance for focus damage dealt plus 5% when dealing focus damage and can stack up to 5 times. Next we have is Bethereal with her Tiara of the Fallen Queen. With the effects of focus plus 6 and commander 20, unit attack and defense of plus 6. Now has special effect of contempt when enemy armies including men Bethereal's focus increases by 6 and this formation's damage dealt is increased by 12%. Another really good commander, who's going to be good, is going to be the Undying. And we have his Wraith's Cloak here, which increases commander's attack by 6 and defense by 6, commander HP of 145 and unit defense plus 6. The special effect of Unspeakable Horror, each round one enemy formations has a 30% chance to succumb to madness. Kiran's Visage of the East has effects of Commander Defense of 4 with Command of 30, Unit Attack and Defense of plus 6. The special effect of, I can't even pronounce this word, an Anathement maybe? Unit Damage of Evil Men plus 5 and Unit HP of Evil Men plus 5. So going to work really good there with Evil Men. Alright, Sauron who a lot of people use and a lot of people have... Sauron Smith Gift Unlocked. Um, so it's going to have Focus plus 6, Commander Defense of 5, and Commander 30, and Unit Attack plus 5. Now the special effect, Great Deception, for the first two rounds, increases the attack and focus of one enemy commanders by 6 each round. Preparation 3 reduces attack, focus, and speed by 6 each round, stacks each round, and cannot be purified. So that's really good. We have the Black Serpent's Horn here, with Commander Focus plus 4, Commander of 30, with Attack of 6 and Defense of 6 for the unit buffs. The special effect of Unstoppable Assault, from round 6 onwards, it's going to be a little while, um, but in the later rounds, it will increase the attack of the Commander's formation plus 30, so you're going to be doing a lot of damage later on in battle. Okay, Saruman, who's really good now. Dark Staff of Power is going to increase Focus plus 6 and Commander HP of 215, increasing the unit's attack by 4 and defense plus 6. The special effect of Unrestrained Power, the commander's normal attacks inflict an additional 120% focus damage. So this is kind of like having a mind split weapon, so yeah, quite very nice there. And last but not least, we have is the Witch King's The Crown of Angmar. Increasing focus by 6 and command of 30 with unit attack of 6 and defense of 4. Now the special effect of Hidden Grasp. The Witch King gains the following effect in sequences. If the focus reaches 50, the commander's formation has a 20% chance to deal maximum damage each round, which is really good with his follow-up abilities. Attack reaches 100. The first instances of damage by the commander's formation plus 50%, which is super crazy. And if the speed reaches 100, the commander's formation has an 8% chance to receive follow-up each round. So yeah, that's really good, guys. And yeah, that is all of the evil commanders' new special gear and all of their stats and skills. They're going to be a bit more different with the enhancement level and stuff like that, which I need to learn more about. And I'm not 100% sure if the special effects were based on the refinement level 5. It kind of does look like that way from the stats, but we'll have to wait and see. We've got a lot of stuff coming up. I'm going to be going over all the good commanders in the next video in a couple of days. Keep an eye out for that. And then on the 15th of November, we've got two PBEs opening. So I'm going to be getting in both of those and covering a lot. So there'll be a lot of content from the two PBEs. But anyway, guys, we're going to wrap up the video there. And until next time, peace out, EJ's out, and I'll catch you guys later. See yous.